basically the summary of this video is vast majority of this stuff is you know very cheap grains um, uh, sugars and starches and it's severely lacking in animal proteins and products you'll maybe have a little bit of dairy but very little so overall it's better to do your own canning with canning jars mylar mylar bags with grains to be as cost effective as you can be that's the way to go in my opinion and uh another big caveat a big big thing to consider is fats and animal proteins it's very lacking in a lot of these things very expensive but very critical to your health um and uh, in my opinion canning it would be the way to go and just buying uh you know canned meat canned beef canned chicken pork etc <clears throat> canned liver um yeah so here's my thoughts on uh survival food um as far as the freeze dryer stuff i mean it's great if you can afford it you know one year supply for two and a half grand is not bad that's basically the going price for most of these different brands of survival food the only thing is I would look at the composition um, just about all of them what they're lacking a lot of times is your your animal fat and animal proteins because it, you know if you go like on Amazon you know freeze-dried chicken and beef and, and so on it's pretty freaking expensive you're talking you know three three pounds of chicken it's at least 50 60 bucks for one ten uh, number 10 can so if you're on a budget I mean for a lot of people this you know one year supply probably gonna be out of your uh, what you can afford even though it lasts you know 20 30 plus years with good storage methods um, you have to think this is for one person maybe maybe two if you really stretch it out um, you can definitely do it cheaper I'm gonna do some uh, videos on how to cheaply uh, uh, store you know 20 30 year beans and rice and uh, I'll show yeah I'll do a separate video on that but uh, there's definitely a cheaper way to do this and then the other part is uh, whenever your local supermarket has a good price well whatever you can find for pretty cheap um, go and get you know buy out the whole department of like steak on sale or chicken and then pressure can it get a good pressure canner get the quart jars and plenty of extra lids and just pressure can it it will last you at least you know two to three years maybe more i know desart one did a video he i think he ate like goat meat it's like three or four years old or something he didn't die from it i mean as long as you do it properly uh, a lot of these canners come with uh instruction manual what temperature what pressure setting and for how long so i have a cheap presta canner you can go with uh, the american standard one which basically doesn't have a gasket that's one i would recommend um they go for like two three maybe four hundred dollars for the big ones but i'll go into that so my main thing about uh these foods it's all carbs you know you got beans rice spices so the big thing would you know if you do it on the cheap and make your own basically freeze-dried bulk grains like beans and rice you know make sure you have a lot of spices you can basically have this for a fraction of the price you can you know 20 30 dollars you have 
you know, maybe 30 something for 50 pounds of uh, beans and maybe 20 something for 50 pounds of rice and that will last you a good long time it's probably gonna end up you know if you do it yourself you store it yourself and uh, uh, do your own oxygen absorbers and everything there's a few good websites where you can just get the 25 pound uh, mylar and uh, probably spend probably 800 probably a lot less and have a lot more for your money as far as calories because with carbohydrates you're really just talking about calories you know humans are adapted to basically consume calories as you know a backup from carbohydrates and that's the sad part is you know you're gonna have maybe like a little bit of like cream and the stroganoff and stuff maybe tiny specks of you know chicken but really this is all like rice and padded with you know starches and beans and so none of this is like primarily you know chicken or beef you know if you look at the ingredients it's gonna have like you know the cheaper stuff grains you know rice starch so my recommendation is you do it yourself <clears throat> and uh, instead of buying freeze-dried do the 25 pound mylar bags and oxygen absorber it with the rice and the beans so yeah that's one way to save money and then uh, you can go on Amazon and uh, <clears throat> I think they have like five pound tins of uh, powdered milk. That stuff goes, it lasts a really long time too, pretty much indefinitely. And you can get whole milk. Um, there's a brand called Nido. And yeah, and sometimes you can get freeze dried stuff pretty cheap. Um, I mean, it's not all bad, but. If you're on a budget, you want to really stretch your money as far as any kind of preparations, then I think Mylar and doing it yourself is the way to go. And canning, pressure canning. And uh, also buying just canned, you know, stuff. Because you got to remember all this, you're going to have to rehydrate this. So you're definitely going to need to have water on hand and propane or a way to cook it. So... Yeah, those are just some of my thoughts, you know. I think the biggest thing that's that's lacking for most people that put food back is got to be the proteins. It's going to be the meat. And that's really, nowadays, that's what's really skyrocketing. So, you find a good price, you got to stock it up, freeze it, and can it. And if you can't afford it, like some of these people on YouTube that, you know, got deep pockets, then buy a freeze dryer and freeze dry your own uh, meat. But yeah, I'll do some other videos and show how I do uh, the mylar and canning and stuff. But yeah, just some thoughts.